Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Tana, and welcome to Crypto Bible. It has been a very, very busy day. This is my fourth upload, plus I've done a live stream earlier as well. So thank you all for keeping up with me and watching the videos and leaving a like. Please do leave a like on this one as well. I am going to go straight to bed after this. It is nighttime, but I thought, you know what? Um, I wanted to come on here and have a quick chat with you guys. Why? Um, because I do feel like people are getting slightly the wrong idea of everything that's happening in the crypto world right now, because for some people, uh, for some people, they think that the crypto world does just revolve around Binance. Now, look, I can completely get why people are panicking. Um, I get that. I completely get that. However, this chat is just kind of to clear the air a little bit take a step back, okay, and just make you guys, help you guys understand what is actually happening. Now, for a lot of you guys that are watching this, you may already know this, you may be thinking, Tana Sharp, I already know what's happening, blah, blah, blah. But 90% of the people watching, I feel like, will need to hear what I'm about to say, okay? I've been getting a ton of messages from some people, um, just basically panicking, saying, asking me, Tana, should I sell my coins? What should I do now? I can't even withdraw, you know, so, so on and so on. Now, um, Look, first things first, in regards to withdrawals, video is coming out tomorrow morning, okay? You do not need to panic at all. There is so many other ways you can use to uh, deposit money. Now, what is the wrong idea that people are getting? It's very simple. People think this is a crypto problem and not just a Binance problem. In reality, this is just a Binance problem and it's not a crypto problem. This is not a crypto problem at all, okay? So in regards to your investments, in regards to crypto itself, there is no problem here, okay? It is a Binance issue. Now, why am I addressing the new people? I'm addressing the new people because a lot of the new people, we would have had a large influx of new people in like the back end of may when things were looking all rosy when bitcoin was going up altcoins were popping right everything was great no problems with binance imagine the amount of new people that would have flooded into the market back then and what they've had to go through right now look i'm with you right here okay it's okay <laughs> i get it has been one hell of a ride and i literally mean one hell of a ride right now right since you guys have entered the market uh, the market has capitulated. We've had problems with Binance. We've had deposits that have gone. Um, withdrawals are now gone. And it is not looking great. And I get it's a very, very scary place. OK, the timing of when you have joined this market is ridiculous. OK, and I, I completely get what you are going through. Hence why I wanted to come on here and just explain it to you, because it seems like based off the messages I've been getting from a lot of people who are quite new to crypto, I'm getting the feel that they think this is a crypto issue rather than a Binance issue, okay? So what is the reality? The reality is, guys, is that you can simply just move your crypto to another exchange and then withdraw it back into your bank account. It's as simple as that. Yes, a lot of the other exchanges do not have anywhere near as many cryptos available that Binance does, altcoins. Um, cool. So just deposit money onto Binance using another exchange like Kraken, like in the video that I done on how to use Kraken to deposit money into Binance, hold that, buy that crypto on Binance and hold it there until you're ready to withdraw. Whenever you are ready to withdraw, move it back to another exchange um, like Kraken, uh, but a coin that supports, uh, that Kraken supports and then withdraw it back into your bank account. It really is as simple as that. You can still put, um, get money onto Binance. There's so many different ways. You can still move money out of Binance. There's so many different ways. You can still purchase coins on Binance. There's so many different ways. So people think that them stopping deposits and withdrawals is the end of the world, but it really isn't. But why don't people know this? People don't know this because advertising cryptocurrency in the UK is illegal. It is not allowed. So you know, exchanges like Kraken or KuCoin, whoever it may be, they are not allowed to advertise their exchange in the UK anywhere, anywhere. It is not allowed. So people are not going to know about it. You know, people are not going to know the type of um, fees that Kraken offer, for instance. People are not going to know the type of cryptos that are available to purchase on there as well. They've got absolutely no idea because it's just never advertised anywhere. So the only way you're going to hear about it is by watching someone like myself on YouTube or word of mouth from someone else or simply going on to an actual crypto website and then just kind of advertising it on the side. No, you know, use 
use Coinbase, use Kraken, whatever it may be, right? That's the only way that people are going to find out about these other cryptocurrency exchanges. So when they don't know about it, they automatically think that, you know, because Binance is no longer available to deposit and withdraw money, or, well, you are, but just in different ways, you know, people automatically think that this is just a crypto issue. Now, look, we're all human. And as humans, our minds are made to think that if the norm is being changed, it's kind of like it's the end of the world. Like I keep saying the end of the world. I keep using that because it's just how it, it seems for some people. Our minds are, you know, made to think that once we are used to something, that's all we know. And we do not want to, you know, learn something else because our money is so invested in it. Our time is so invested in it. OK, our mind only knows how to use Binance, we have had the pleasure and the ease of having exposure to so many different altcoins on Binance. We've had the ease of having minimal fees to pay on Binance, so many different features. The ease of using such an easy app, once you actually know what you're doing, is so easy to use, right? Um, so automatically, our minds think, crap, what am I going to do now? And I get that, okay? So if you just take a step back and understand that it is okay, there is really no huge issue right here. It is a Binance issue. Let them go do their thing. Crypto is still here. Okay. Binance is over there now. Let them do their own thing. Crypto is still right here. There's, there's been no problem with crypto. The FCA are not after crypto. The SEC are not after crypto right now in the UK. Forget about the XRP case in, in, um, in America. That's a different story, but... Even that ain't a big, big thing in my opinion. But um, but look, right now there's no problem with crypto. Okay, it is Binance that are facing the issues, and I feel like people do need to understand that there's so many different exchanges out there. Okay, I'm not saying go and use those exchanges and do everything on there. I'm saying we can use those exchanges to deposit or withdraw money if we wanted to, even into Binance and out of Binance if we really wanted to. I've got a video coming out tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. showing you how to actually withdraw money from Binance into another exchange, then back into your bank account. And it costs you basically the exact same as what it would have cost you to use Binance. So please stay tuned for that 9 a.m. UK time that will be posted. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to just kind of have a little chat with you guys, you know, make it clear that there isn't really too much to be panicking about. Um, and I've just been getting a lot of messages from people understandably panicking, thinking, you know, this is it. Crypto's finished when it's not. Our minds are made to think that way because Binance is all we know. Binance is the biggest and greatest exchange in the world. Um, but, you know, when you actually look at the grand scheme of things, it it's not a it's not a big deal for our lives. It isn't going to change the way we're doing things, is it? Because we could just do it in other ways. Um, so yeah, before I just let you guys know that hopefully this has kind of put your minds at ease a little bit um, and ease the panic down the tad. Um, you know, if you're just if you're a pro Binance person in the UK and you're panicking, cool. You've got a reason to panic because you know it's not looking amazing right now. But then when you actually step back and realize it's not a big deal. What Simple. If you are holding a coin that another exchange doesn't support, but you're holding this coin on Binance, the second you are ready to withdraw that coin, you know, tr trade it to a coin that your other exchange does support, XRP, whatever it may be, okay? Move that XRP to the other exchange and withdraw it on there into your bank account, okay? If they've got faster payments, amazing, great. I'm going to show you the video tomorrow morning and you'll be like, okay, cool. We've actually got nothing to worry about because you don't you don't i'm here for you guys okay um but yeah look hopefully you can go to bed sleeping a little bit better <laughs> uh last thing i want to mention guys there's a hell of a lot of scams in my comments that are pretending to be me they're calling themselves pinned by crypto bible to make it look legit it's not me okay i am not offering no whatsapp messages or pretending to be someone i'm not it's not me, guys, okay? You will know if it's me um, replying to you because I'll just give an honest, normal comment back. If you see something like that, please just report it or ignore it, okay? I'm trying to go through and delete all of them, but before I let you guys know, there's a lot of scams in my comments pretending to be me. It is not me, okay? So if you get in at someone messaging you saying to contact them on WhatsApp or message them on this and that, it's not me, all right? I'd never do that. Um, but yeah, guys, that is going to cover it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed all of the updates. And um, yeah, like I said, it's all good, guys. Nothing to worry about, okay?
please like the video please subscribe if you haven't already please join the discord the link is in the description below video out tomorrow 9 a.m on showing how to withdraw back into your bank account using another exchange um to send it from binance to there definitely watch that give it a thumbs up as well and uh, yeah guys hopefully uh i will see you guys tomorrow in more update videos and uh yeah take it easy people i'll speak to you very very soon goodbye